Welcome, Welcome to the Security, Security Sucks, Sucks Podcast. Podcast. I'm your host, Joel Nest. And on the thing that episode, I'm really pissed off about, it makes me angry every single year, is statistically the decline in the amount of people that actually For all participate other information, in Remembrance Check out Day. our show notes. Also, visit us on all of our social media platforms LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, YouTube, Flickr, Periscope, Podbean. Don't forget to check out our website at www.securitysucksmedia.com and on Patreon. For all of the updated information, that's where you're going to hit first. And any other button you can find, just make sure you follow us and share with the rest of the world because you all have a voice and we all want to hear it. So put your comments in the comment section below and don't forget, go to our website again, www.securitysucksmedia.com. Hey, welcome to Security Sucks Podcast. I'm your host, Joel Nest. Today, I want to talk about Remembrance Day. And I know to everybody, it means something else. Um, It only could with generations that go by. Um, how it started and how things are progressing nowadays. You know, a lot of us may or may not have people that are from that time period, which is completely understandable. But the thing that I'm really pissed off about, and it makes me angry every single year, is the stati- is statistically the decline in the amount of people that actually participate in Remembrance Day. You know... Years ago, it was a big event. It was something that, you know, your your grandfather, your father, they took you to the the ceremonies. They they made sure that you know at, there was a moment of silence. They made sure all this stuff happened. And nowadays, yes, I understand they'll do it, the moment of silence in school. They'll do it at some establishments, but um, for the most part. I've been noticing, and again, statistically, it's a fact that the participation for Remembrance Day is starting to dwindle. And that really, really, really bugs me. Now, the reason I'm bringing all this up is because the other day after Halloween, I was uh, heading to one of the stores and all of a sudden it's Christmas shit. And you know what fucking irks me about that is people forget that there's a day in between of Halloween and Christmas. Well, there's a few days. There's Thanksgiving. There's well, the Remembrance Day, which is what I'm talking about right now. But it just blows my mind how we for, we don't put a mu- not enough effort into this into this very 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 important day, right? To a lot of people right now out there, Christmas isn't really. An eventful day for people like it doesn't really mean anything other than your family and 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 gifts gift giving like it's not it's not something that really tied into any well i guess you, you know where i'm going with this like and it just it just irks me to no point that remembrance day is is becoming more and more forgotten um my son came home uh yesterday and he was talking about how at school they uh, they were painting reindeer. And I'm like, okay, why are you painting reindeer like five days before Remembrance Day? Like, shouldn't you be doing something else? And he's like, oh, well, we did do poppies. But it made me think, like, you know, he cared more about the, the reindeer than he did the poppy. And, and maybe he didn't care about it because he's, he's six years old. He doesn't really give a shit about much, <laughs> which is which is frankly fine by me. But just the point in the process of like, why are we even doing something that resembles Christmas? Like around my house, nothing gets done until after Remembrance Day. I don't care what you want to listen to, but no Christmas shit goes on until after that day. And I think that we should be more strict about um, how we represent that day and, and what everything means leading up to it. And, you know, after Remembrance Day, that's fine. Be thankful for everything you have. And, and, and as you should, and you should be thankful for Christmas before Remembrance Day. I, I agree with those, but I don't think we should be promoting something when we're already losing something else. Now, there's other places that Remembrance Day is very large. My community, um, like I live in a small town, so we we always go to the Remembrance Day parades every day and ceremony. We all, or not every day, every year. Um, but... And it's not like I am dragging my family out. They don't, they're not kicking and screaming. They, they enjoy going to it because it's very well done in our town. Um, but th- you just notice looking around the amount of people that we're losing for this 
very special occasion. And to me, it just really bothers me. And I don't want to see us lose it indefinitely over the generations because not enough people put enough support into it. Um, and I mean, we don't need to make a big, big event out of it, but it just seems like anything that's not sellable doesn't become high priority. Like people are more concerned about Black Friday than they are Remembrance Day. They're more concerned over other things um, than, than this specific day. And the thing is, is it doesn't take a lot of your time. Like most ceremonies and events just last for a few hours. It's not like you're there the entire day. Um, which again, there are other events that do take up an entire day and we do invest more time into. And yeah, so I'm not going to keep going on and on. This is going to be a pretty short one. I just wanted to send a rant out there because it kind of pisses me off. And I don't feel that this specific day should get neglected the way it does. All right. So anyway, stay safe out there and uh, catch you on the flip side. Peace out. Thanks for listening to the show. Don't forget, check out our show notes. Leave us a comment in the comment section. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to hit us up on www.securitysucksmedia.com. Check you on the flip side.